Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. This is Tiffany with the Speak Up and Inspire series. And today we are going to be continuing our, excuse me, our conversations about Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. If you remember from our first podcast that we did this month, I um, wanted to make mention or I made mention that we're not only going to be talking about teen dating violence, but we're also going to be talking about violence in in general with youths this month on the Speak Up and Inspire series. So for this month, we are going to be talking to Snow Simmons. She is the founder of Young Women Saved by Grace Mentoring Program. Um, Snow has been operating this uh, mentor program, and I want you to join us so that you can find out why it's so important for us to mentor our youth. I'm sure that you already know the answer, but we're going to talk about how using our personal experiences are one of the best ways for us to be able to mentor others. If you have ever worked in the in the helping field or as a helping professional, then you know that they call people who use their experiences to help others as peer support specialists or something similar. So the the premises and research has shown that when a person has experienced anything in life, whether it is violence or is domestic violence, or it is growing up in an urban community or growing up in um, low income housing or just growing up um, in any situation, single parent home, so forth and so on, um, substance abuse, that a person who has been through experiences is usually a very good at helping I'm sorry, is very good at helping others to either avoid or prevent them from following in the same path as them. Um, this is model is especially used in substance abuse, um, um, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, substance abuse arenas, where those that are recovering from substance abuse or are no longer using substance or substances such as drug or alcohol, they go into programs and they talk to others who are battling with substance abuse. The same is true with mentoring our youths. When we have been through things, when we have seen things, we tell our children that we've been through it, we're the adults, and that is why we are here to help you. Or that is how we can share our experiences with our kids. I talk to my kids all the time about growing up in school, um, what I went through, um, living with my parents, um, living um, in a, uh, a multicultural school. When we use our experiences to teach our children and to talk to our children, it kind of gives us credibility, not only credibility, but It's also a way for us to be able to give them real life advice. When we use real life advice to help others, it has been shown through research to be more helpful than getting advice from someone who's never experienced what you have experienced or what you are at risk of experiences. Working with youth is a blessing. It is an honor. It is something that should not be taken lightly. And this month, we are going to be talking to several individuals like we did last week who use their experiences to speak up and inspire not only adults, but youth as well. And Snow is one of those adults. She has been through many different experiences. And the last time I met met with her, I learned of some things about Miss Snow that I did not know before, but it also gave me some insight to why she is so passionate about what she does in the community. Snow has more than one business venture, but all of the ones that she has 
revolve around children and for good reason. She has a lot of experiences that um, can help you. She has daughters herself. She has a mentoring program that my daughter Heaven is involved in. And I know that when my daughter goes and she is in the company of Miss Snow, that she is going to be inspired, that she is going to be uplifted, that she is going to be in a positive environment, and that she is going to excuse me, and that she takes it very seriously when she mentors the young ladies that she that she works with and who she meets in the community. This week is Random Acts of Kindness Week. We are going to be doing um, a couple of projects together, me and Ms. Snow and also Ms. D, who you will meet next Monday here on the Speak Up and Inspire series. Tomorrow, we are going to be getting our youth together to pack Valentine's bags for the residents at Charlottetown. And what we're going to be doing is writing positive messages on the gift bags, and we are putting candies in them for the Charlottetown residents. These are the things that we are going to be doing with our youth this week. Also, on Wednesday, we are going to be visiting Time Out Youth. Time Out Youth Group is an organization that helps or works with youths that identify as lesbian, gay, trans, or bi. They are questioning their sexuality or they have already identified what their sex sexuality is going to be. So Time Out Youth Group is where we're going to be visiting on Wednesday to give them support, to talk to them about domestic violence, to talk to them about sexual assault, to talk to them um, about raising awareness and educating their community that they're in because the LGBT community is one that is special and it um, deserves to um, have advocates in the community community who are right there, who know what's going on, can identify. And as an LGBT advocate myself, um, I like to go to Time Out Youth because we meet so many amazing, strong youths at Time Out Youth Group. So we will be going there on Wednesday. On Thursday, I will be delivering the Valentine's wish bags to the Charlottetown residents along with a couple of other youths. And I'm sure that they are going to be looking forward to that. I've already let them know that we are coming. And then on Sunday, we are going to be meeting at um, Freedom Park for our teddy bear drive. We are asking all individuals to go out and buy at least one teddy bear, just one. We're not asking to buy a bunch to help us donate the teddy bears to the children at Levine um, Children's Hospital. We will be meeting this Sunday at Freedom Park, and we are going to be collecting teddy bears that are coming from you and the youth in our community. We are also challenging any organizations or any organization founders or owners that to ask your teams, ask your employees, ask your coworkers and your networks to join us in our teddy bear drive that we are doing with our use for Random Acts of Kindness Week to collect for the children at the Levine Children's Center. So right now I am going to bring on Snow so that she can tell you more about her organization, Young Women Saved by Grace. And for us to get to know you, I'm um, sorry, to, for us to get to know Snow a little bit better. I'm sorry, please excuse me. My voice is going, <laughs> but please bear with me. I'm about to bring Snow on right now so that we can meet her. And please, please remain on live so that if you have any questions, questions then you can ask her as well as me um, to get to know Snow and to get to know your organization. Hello, Snow. How are you? Great evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Because I've just been having problems with... Um... Can you hear me now? Okay, good. Okay, good. How are you doing? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. 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 Oh, 
Well, let's go. 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 Let's go.
me speaking up, talking about the experiences that I went through, just like Miss Snow, she shares her experience and what she goes through. And she does that helping the youth in our community, including my daughter, Heaven. So let's see if we can get her back on. And I'm going to try to get her back on the phone so that we can talk to her because we want to spend some time with her because she has a story that I think everyone needs to hear. If you have children in the house that are um, over 10, this would be a good time to bring them on so that they can um, listen to Miss Snow, hear what she has to say, learn about her experiences, and also learn about her program as well. So I will attempt to bring her back on. And when we bring Snow back on, then we will talk to her more about young women um, saved by grace. If you are in the community yourself, I would love to hear from you. What is it that you do in the community to help use? Do you have children? Are they involved in any programs? Are there any pro programs out there that you especially in, feel are beneficial for the children in your community? I would love for you to share that with me while we are waiting for Snow to come back on to, um, to talk to us about her organization. While you have a chance and we're waiting to have her back on, you can go to her Facebook page, Young Women Saved by Grace, you can go to her page, you can look at it, you can see what it is that she is doing specifically in the community. She has been running her program for, I believe, at least two years. She also has a summer camp for girls and her mentoring program actually just started back up before this year, last weekend. My daughter had the privilege of going and being a part of the first meeting that she had with her amazing ladies in the organization, I'm sorry, in the community. And again, Snow has shared a lot of her experiences with me. Um, growing up, um, seeing violence, um, being in an environment where there are gangs, um, violence, um, uh, mentoring a young lady who was killed by her boyfriend, which is something that I shared last week on the podcast when we were talking to Miss Katrina Thomas. Um, just a very amazing, strong woman. And I see that we have several people that are watching right now. I know um, Mr. Lloyd, when I met him, he was um, a mentor to me. And he was the one that really encouraged me to follow my dream, to speak up and share my experiences and start um, a formal organization which merged with the Butterfly Visions Project to help the youth in our community. So it looks like we are still having some problems with getting snow on. Um, she's having some technical difficulties as it seems like we have a lot <laughs> um, when we are trying to go live. So I would just continue and tell you that Young Women Saved by Grace is working with um, young ladies between the ages of 11 and 18 years old. If you are living in the Charlotte, North Carolina area and you have girls that are 11 to 17 years old, please look up Young Women Saved by Grace. Young Women Saved by Grace was started by Snow to help mentor and show young ladies how to be women, how to have self-respect, how to love yourselves, how to be self-aware of who you are, but also to get our girls out in the community learning about our community, being active in the community, giving back to the community, volunteering, also knowing um, the steps that you need to take to advocate for others. We are teaching our young girls, including my, my own daughter, how to be advocates, how to fight for other people's rights as well as our own. And what are some things that we need to do as young women and as mothers to lift each other up. 
There's so many occasions where I have heard women, especially black women say that when you get a whole bunch of women together, it's nothing but drama. Well, unfortunately, that's because we allow ourselves to get to be overly sensitive to things that really are not that serious. And one thing that I think that is very important among women, especially black women, is for us to lift each other up. And that's all women. We should always lift each other up, encourage each other, support each other, and try to leave the cattiness and the pettiness aside. That's one of the things that I appreciate about Snow's program and what she's teaching these young ladies. She's teaching these young ladies to not only have respect and pride for themselves, but to have respect and pride for others. And she does that by being an example. Um, Ms. Snow, I've always had positive um, uh, interactions with her. I've never had any drama with her. I've introduced her to other um, youth proof youth program founders and organizations, and there has never been any problems, any drama, any beef. And that's because we all believe as women and Black women that it's very important for us to empower each other and to support each other. And that is something that Snow does with her organization, Young Women Saved by Grace. So again, if you are doing something in the community or you know of any organizations in the community that are not only helping young ladies or girls, but are also helping boys as well. I think it's important that there are mentoring groups out there for our boys. And it is so important for the men in our community to be involved. There was a study done within the CMS school system that showed that when there are male teachers, male substitutes, male volunteers in the schools, that they see a dramatic difference in the behaviors and the educational, um, uh, let me see, in the improvement of education when there are men present in the school system. That is also true in our communities. When we have strong men in our communities who are leaders, natural leaders that are willing to help our children, guide our children, support our children and protect our children, that you see a very big difference in the community. Us as women, we are natural nurturers. And so we are always, always, mostly, most women are natural nurturers. But when you have strong men in the community, no matter what your race, black or white, when you have strong men in the community who look out for the community and protect the, the community, you see a difference in the children. You see the difference in the way they respect the adults, the way they respect each other. And so speaking up as adults, as parents, as mentors, as teachers, as educators, as business owners, it is really important for us to include our children. The twins, they always, always are interested in what I am doing in the community. And on a lot of occasions, I take the opportunity to take them with me when I go and speak about domestic violence and sexual assault. But they're also there when I go to different youth organizations to talk about awareness causes and to just to go visit some of the foster homes and some of the group homes and some of the organizations like Time Out Youth that are helping our youth in the community be better adults. Miss Snow, it looks like you're still having problems and unable to join us. So I am going to do my best to represent her as best I can. When I met up with her um, about two weeks ago to talk to her about National Volunteer Week, which is going to be coming up in April, we talked about um, several things. So she is going to be having some workshops. Um, these workshops will be dealing with self-esteem, um, proper dress, um, school, getting ready for college, uh, 
playing sports, um, advocating for others. These are some of the things that Miss Snow's organization, Young Women Saved by Grace, does. She also goes out into the community. Like I said, this is Random Acts of Kindness Week. What is it that you are doing with your children this week and throughout the year to get them involved in the community and to help others. I know that we are busy. I know that a lot of us parents are working nine to five or working full-time jobs. I know that some of us are even business owners like myself or um, running organiz or organizations. Are you taking the time, the, all of the energy that you are putting out there in the community and putting out there in your jobs how much of that energy are you giving to your kids? How much of your energy are you spending talking to your children about the violence that is occurring in your neighborhoods? How much of your time are you sitting down with your children and maybe having Bible study or prayer or just talking to them about their daily lives? I go to counseling. And I am not afraid to say that I am a firm believer in mental health. Do you talk to your children about mental health? Do you talk to them about what is bothering them um, when they go to school? What is bothering them amongst themselves, among their friends? Do you have open dialogue with them? I know when I was growing up, a lot of things that um, should have been talked about were hush. They weren't being talked about, especially in the Black community. We find that in the Black community that African Americans, one, do not um, go and go to the counselors. They don't believe in seeking help for mental health issues. And that's something that we need to break the cycle with our children. If there is a problem that is going on with our with our mental or our children, we have to be honest about our children. Our children are not perfect. They might be great kids, but if you see that your child is suffering in some kind of way, whether they're reserved or they're fighting or their grades are slipping and you have no idea, or if their their attitude is to the point that you dread coming home and dealing with this child, or if you just have a child who is shy and maybe just needs some support with learning some social skills, talk to your children about going to and having professional counseling. There's nothing wrong with going to counseling. There's nothing wrong with having family counseling. It's nothing wrong with taking your child to a mental health organization to talk about what's going on in their lives. If your children are not comfortable talking about you, do you want your children talking to their friends? Do you want your children talking to people who um, have no experience or don't have positive experiences? If your child is not comfortable talking to you, if you are not comfortable talking to your child about sex, then we need to find ways to talk to our children, educate our children, and give the time and energy to our children that we are giving to our other pursuits, like our businesses, our homes, building our credit, starting a business, buying a new car. All of those things take up our time and our energy, but how much time and energy are we giving to our children? There are many organizations in our communities. Ms. Snow, who we're supposed to be interviewing tonight, has Young Women Saved by Grace. Young Women Saved by Grace is for young girls 11 through 17. If you have an organization for girls, boys, or unisex, unisex organization, please tell me. I would love to share it with my networks. I would love to share it here, right here on my podcast. We are getting a nice following on the Speak Up and Inspire series, and I would love to Put your organization out there, put your businesses out there that are helping our children or helping people in general because it's very important. But helping our children is the future. Our children are our future. We've all heard that. We have to protect our children. Just like we talked last week with Miss Katrina, 
from loving yourself, no more abuse, that it's important for us to talk to our children about sex. It's important to talk to our children about dating. I know that my children are 11 years old. They already have male friends, my daughter. They already have female friends, my son. And I hate to say it, they already have little crushes or someone that has crushes on them. They're good looking children, they're social children, it's time for me to start talking to them about sex, which I've already started doing. I've talked to them about diseases and um, uh, making sure that the person that you date or that you like um, respects you. Not letting a man or a woman hit you, curse you out, call you names. These are the kind of, kind of conversations that we need to have with our children. And if you have a story to tell, Talk to your children, get to the children in your community, invite them over, talk to them about who you are, what it is that you do, what you can offer them. Talk to the parents, your neighbors, because it's very important for us to share our experiences and to be a role model for our children. All of us are not perfect. All of us have a past. All of us have something that we can share to help somebody else. For me, I have had the experiences of living in a two-parent home. Was that home always perfect? No, it wasn't. I ended up going into foster care when I was 16 years old until I was 18 years old. That is an experience that a lot of children experience today, being in foster care. I also have experiences of being a sexual assault victim. I also have the experiences of being a domestic violence victim. I share my experiences as a survivor now and as an adult to both men, women, and children because I feel that I have survived traumatic experiences, just like you have, just like Miss Snow has, just like Miss Katrina has that was on our podcast this week. It's so important for us to share our experiences, to speak up and inspire others to share their experiences because you never know who you can help. I know that now that the twins have heard that mommy has been a, um, a victim of sexual assault, now they're asking questions. What is sexual assault? How did you get yourself in that situation? What can you do? What could you have done differently, mommy, for that possibly not to have happened to you? What kind of person was it that you trusted that ended up taking advantage of you? Those are the kind of conversations that we need to have with our children, no matter how hard it is. I see that I have a young lady that is watching right now. She is a domestic violence survivor, and I am so proud of her. I don't want to say her name because I don't want her want to um, break confidentiality, but she's watching right now. And she told me last week that she is starting to speak up about domestic violence to groups. Those are the kind of people that we need mentoring and teaching our children. If you've been through something traumatic, if you've been through something amazing, if you've started a business, if you've started an organization, if you have something that you're passionate about, be a mentor. Talk to the children. You can start very small, talking to your own children, talking to the children in, in your community, and then branching out. It's not hard. It takes a lot. It's um, a very intimate experience, but I promise you it's a very, very rewarding experience to be able to stand up and speak up about being a survivor of whatever it is that you've been through in your life. And if you've never been through anything traumatic, then God bless you. But so many of us have. So I encourage you as adults, as community leaders, as business owners, as organization owners, as neighbors, as friends, to share your experiences, to talk to the youth in your community, talk to 
other children that you come across, whether you're a teacher, um, an educator, a nurse, a doctor, there's always opportunities to speak up, to inspire and encourage, always. Ms. Snow, unfortunately, was not able to um, get on with us today. Um, but we will invite her back to share her story and to share her organization, Young Women Saved by Grace. She has an amazing organization that is getting started again this year. And I encourage that if you are in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, to please look her up. She is on Facebook and Instagram. You can look up at Young Women Saved by Grace, or you can look her up on her personal page, Snow Simmons. She has an organization, again, for young girls ages 11 through 17, and she will be doing some activities with me along with Dee, who you will meet next week, for Random Acts of Kindness Week. If your children are interested in getting involved in any youth or community um, activities, or they're interested in learning how to be advocates in their community, please reach out to me. You can reach out to Ms. Snow or you can reach out to Ms. Katrina. We would love to have them. We would love to take them under our wing, but we encourage you to do that in your homes. Everything, I promise you, everything that is valuable and that deserves attention is right at home. Right at home where you see your children every day. Even though that there are organizations out there that will help you and will assist you and will support and guide your children, it starts at home. Whether you are a mother, whether you are a father, whether you are an aunt or an uncle, a grandma or a grandpa, we need to start teaching our children at home. Being leaders, guiding our children, being mentors starts at home. And I just want you to know that they, myself, Miss Snow with Young Women Saved by Grace, Miss Katrina, Loving Yourself, No More Abuse, and Miss D, who will be on next week, we are all um, we all have organizations that have passions for helping your youths, but we need your help. We need you to partner with us to help not only your child, not only my children, but other children out here who don't have parents that they go home to, or families that they go home to, that are living in foster care, they're living in group homes, or just hanging out on the streets getting into the wrong things. We need people like you, those that have been watching, we need people like you to be more involved in the community and to be more involved with their youth. So please, take a moment, look up Butterfly Visions Project. Also, look up Young Women Saved by Grace, you can also look up Minute Project for Ms. D, who will be on with us next week, and Ms. Katrina, Loving Yourself, No More Abuse. All of us are women-owned, women-founded organizations. We will be having some men on soon who have their own organizations, and also some organizations that cater to our boys and to our young men, because we don't want to forget about our boys and young men. Our boys and young men are the strength. They are the rock of who we are as women. Without our men and without our boys, there would be no us. <laughs> so we need to not only encourage our young ladies and young and encourage our women, we also want to encourage our young boys and our men as, as men as well. They need just as much support, just as much help, and just as much guidance and mentoring as our young girls do. So Again, this is Teen Dating Violence Month. Please talk to your children. The mentoring starts at home. Please talk to them. Get them involved in the community. Share the information that we will be sharing on the Butterfly Visions Project and Speak Up and Inspire pages this month. But this is not only for this month. We need to be talking to our children every day. We need to be talking to them every week. We need to talk to them every month. Raising our children, supporting our children, talking to our children, loving our children, and mentoring our children is what is going to make the difference in their lives. It's very important for our children to know that we love them and that we care for them and that we support them. And not always does that come from with yelling. 
Not always does it come with punishment. Not always does it come from spankings. I know that a lot of us are old fashioned and, they, and some of us believe in old fashioned whoopings, but not always is that the way to reach our children. Our children learn in different ways. And sometimes what might've worked for us or our grandparents might not work for your kid. So educate yourself about different parenting styles. Find out what kind of child do you have? What kind of learner are they? Do they learn better from visual things? Do they learn better from listening? Do they learn better from doing things? Because that will help you too in training and educating and mentoring your child at home. So thank you for joining us here on the Speak Up and Inspire series. Thank you so much for joining us. And we will have Snow on again so that you can get to know her and her organization, Young Women Saved by Grace. Have a good night.